Well, me and Barrett just took a long adventure. We went through the trail, we went up the highway about five or six miles, <laughs> figure of speech. And we came here to light a fire. A small one, of course, not a big one. Why are you cheating me with so little? <laughs> this is great, man. So this is our little fire here at the POW camp in Mississippi. That'd be Morton, Mississippi. And I hope you enjoy the flames. Well, from Ranger Kuki and Mr. Mulatto and Bear, and Bear, we say good night. Good night, tubers. I so hope you. That's a flame. A lot of good airflow. That's why we got flame got five foot up in the air. Who did that? Airflow is a good thing. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy the flames. So me and uh, Bear roughed it last night. I slept in this chair with this one little sleeping bag. And he's still sleeping over there. Let's go take a look. He started this fire last night. And uh, we've been in front of that thing all night. Let's take a look at Bear. He's sleeping. So oh, what a beautiful morning we have. It's about nine o'clock. And we have the POW camp. So he wanted to come out here and make a fire. So we made a fire. Hey, I wish you cookie. And that's dark. Poor dark. Well, I'm out here at the POW camp. And since they took out the trash can, 
that you can't put your trash in. People's leaving their trash everywhere. <clears throat> I've been coming out here for years camping in this location because it's free and they got trails and creeks and a gator and a pond. I come out here all the time and I've never seen this much trash in my whole entire time I've come out here. There's trash everywhere. Trash right there, trash right there, trash there, trash there, trash over there, trash over there. I mean, the state park took out the trash cans and they say, you got to pack it out now so we don't have to pay nobody to take the trash out. But yet, they have to pay somebody to come pick up all the trash that these assholes left. So, there you go. I want to show you all something. Maybe brighten up your day. Then, I'm going to turn around and bring this person down. Huh? This is... This was a control fire. I found out earlier, you know, a big sign says control fire. So they burnt all the, burnt all this. So I walk around looking for artifacts. I found me a nice little white sack. Oh yeah, that was a good little find. So I went back here to find other artifacts. There's people camp back here too. And I'm going to show you the little artifact I found. Now I want to tell y'all something. Bushcraft is a skill. You come out in the woods and you build stuff out of nature. But you do not. You do not leave your damn trash on the ground. If you're a bushcrafter, you... Alright. Bushcrafters should have least Boy Scout skills. If I you a Boy Scout book and, and read the damn book... Learn some Boy Scout skills first, because the first Boy Scout skills it says never leave your trash and put the sucker out when you're done. <clears throat> so, this so-called bushcrafter who made this table left trash in their location. I just want to show you all this little weave or way how he did this. It's not that old, but he did a good job. It's sturdy. He just had to, I guess he just put some sticks because he wanted to put something here. <clears throat> so there we go. This is the uh, the little thing I want to show you that might brighten up your day. But in reality, this bushcrafter is not a bushcrafter. He's just a wannabe because he left trash. Don't be a wannabe. Pick up your god darn trash after you're done. I mean, it looks like he put something here like a tent. Because he swept up all the stuff and put it over here. Look, he left the trash in the, in the sweeper. I mean, come on. If you're a bushcrafter, you know basic, basket, basket, Boy Scout skills. <clears throat> and, and this other idiots left their beer cans and all their trash here I mean when I leave I take all my trash out or at least burn it and there's nothing left I don't drink out of cans because I don't drink soda pop so there you go a bush a wannabe wannabe bushcrafter because I mean he did a good job but yeah he wants to be a bushcrafter but yeah he's not a bushcrafter because he left trash looks like a boy scout came here but now I both got my book. And then one more thing I want to let y'all people know. Cutting down trees to try to burn is not going to burn because it's still green. So y'all cut a tree down to burn, but it's not going to burn because it's green. Uh, some that, that shows you another uh, non-bushcrafting skill. People cut down trees. They're alive. See, this is how a tree is alive. I see he used most of the material to build that, but that's different type of wood from this wood. And come on, people! If you're going to be a bushcrafter, learn basic Boy Scout skills. The Boy Scouts been doing it for thousands of years. <laughs> Read a book.
All right, the first thing is never leave your trash. Don't cut live trees for firewood because look, not a, look, it's green. It's all green. You can't burn that unless the fire is really hot. And he used, uh, I think, gulp out of this or some type of freaking tree. But uh, bushcraft door and a bee. Don't be one. All right, I'm the Rager. Uh, I'm out here at the POW. See y'all next round. This is a message for the POW Camp Park officials. Since you took out the garbage can, people have been leaving trash everywhere. Because you took out the garbage can because you wanted to save money. Now you got to pay somebody to go out there and pick up all the trash that's out here. That those people could have just put in this garbage can. So they could... But you took it out because you want to save money. Now this is what you have now because you took the garbage cans out. Now you have to pay somebody to come pick this stuff up. Which I find erotic that you could just left two or three garbage cans so people could throw their trash in the garbage cans. See? That's all new. Since you took it out, people's leaving it here for you to pick it up now. So the the park officials in Mississippi for the POW and other parks, because I notice this one was every park I go to now. You have to take the garbage cans out. Now people leaving trash everywhere. Oh, there you got no trash can. I'll just leave it right here. So now you got to pay somebody to come into the parks to pick up the trash that these jackasses left on the ground. Since you took them out, I've been coming here for thousands, almost a long time to this park, especially. I've been seeing trash everywhere now since you took out those trash cans. It's just letting you know, I meant you still got to spend money now to have somebody come in here to pick up the trash. Or this place is going to be littered with trash like that. I'm just letting y'all know what I feel and think. So, when I used to come out here, I used to pick up the trash I, I see but you know I care but now I'm, I'm getting where I don't care I used to come out and pick up all the trash you see trash 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 most of the time I don't see this trash because I had trash cans but now you want to make it where people bring their own trash. People are lazy. I'm not bringing my trash home. And some more trash. I can go through this whole park and show you all the trash is here. And we already passed that one, so look, trash, trash, trash. And trash right there where my camp is. When I leave, I picked up all my trash and I throw it in the garbage can. Well, I decided to go ahead and pick up the trash around this camp. And around the whole park, I can see. So, uh, I changed my mind, but uh, I'm not going to do this all the time. It's getting worse and worse every time I come out here. More and more people leaving trash because you didn't want to leave a garbage can. All right, well, I'm going to start picking up and show you the results. All right, here's the first place. And I'm going to pick up trash. They got trash everywhere. All right, I'll show you the big bag at the end. Here's my bag. Here's my gloves protection. And show you the result at the end.